PlayStation dumb delivery strikes again. What's up, everybody? It is the Best Bot Kids Move, and I'm back with another video, and it's going to be fairly short, fairly quick. Twitter was up in the rut today. Looks like PlayStation did their thing and uh, make Xbox look good again. So we all know by now, PlayStation is doubling down on their I don't give a shit, fuck smart delivery and fuck you uh, uh, marketing with their latest efforts. I think PlayStation teased around a little bit with their free upgrade program. I think Spider-Man was probably like the only one to to receive such treatment. But ever since then, it's kind of been like, eh, it is what it is. I mean, they re-released uh, Ghost of Tsushima with no, with no real free upgrade path. Well, there is an upgrade path. You just have, you have to pay for it. They're releasing Death Stranding, same uh, situation. And um, maybe, I don't know. I, I, now that we got their first, like, I guess, I'm now I'm just trying to figure out what about did Sackboy do this? I, I, I'm not so exactly sure, but once upon a time, PlayStation promised that for uh, that uh, Horizon Forbidden West will be a free upgrade if you buy the PS4. It was last, it was like in 2020 when they, I think, announced the game. And um, a few weeks ago at Gamescom, well, we could go at Gamescom or Open the Night Live when they revealed the date that was coming out February 2022. Um, and now today we got the pre-order and pricing of it, and it looks like that's not going to be the case. As you see on the side of the screen here, we have the standard uh, PlayStation 4 edition at $59.99, standard $60 price tag. You have the standard PlayStation 5 edition at $69.99, you know, that good old uh, $70, uh, you know, PlayStation price. And then you got the Digital Deluxe Edition, which includes the PS4 and PS5 versions of the game for 80 bucks, um, essentially reducing the price of, uh, technically, I guess both games are one of the games, um, but uh, for 80 bucks, you can get uh, both copies. Now, this is uh, a problem for, and I said this in a tweet, and people thought I was defending Sony. I actually wasn't defending Sony. I said, and I still believe this, the only people who really should be angry about this dual entitlement um, is PlayStation 4 owners. People still playing on the PS4 and those PS4 owners who plan to buy a PS5 in the spring of next year. And the reason why they should be upset, upset because... They there was like, well, you know, I'm gonna buy it on PS4, $60, whatever. Is you know, we know we got these upgrade programs, PS4, PS5, we're in backwards compatibility. We know it somewhat exists because you know, via Xbox, it, it, it's, it's a real thing, it's not like a gimmick. Um, so you buy the game, whatever, you know, I'm gonna get a PS5 soon, I'll get the better version, you know, when I get a PS5. When they finally upgrade to a PS5 and they realize, wow, there's and, and then they have to realize, I actually have to be a, buy the PS5 version of the game or I have to buy the digital uh, deluxe version. That, from here, it doesn't look like there's an actual upgrade path. There's like no $10 upgrade, whatever that you have to pay. It's like you own the PS4 version. And once they upgrade to the PS5, they have to buy the PS5 version and hopefully it's on sale. That's a problem. That 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 is a real problem. And this is why, you know, people, you know, you know, praise and they're so happy how dominant Sony is and how they celebrate the fact that PlayStation could rip you off. They celebrate the fact that PlayStation gets away uh, with murder all because they're, you know, they drop an exclusive once, you know, you know, twice a year or some shit like that. And, um, and that they're like the best selling. But when these things happen, you know, and, and watch Horizon is going to be like a number one seller and all that other stuff. And people are going to celebrate it. But the thing is, my take is, if you are a PlayStation 5 owner, this move actually does not impact you. You know why? Because you've already accustomed to playing, paying $70 for games. So the $70 isn't, if you're a PS5 owner, 
The seventy five, the seventy dollar thing is not a, not an issue to you no more. This whole dull entitlement is not an issue to you because you're only buying the version you need, which is the seventy dollar version if you're on a PS five. So that shouldn't bother you. PS four owners, yeah, they got a problem because they know that they have they either technically have to. For PS four owners, it's like, hey, I plan on getting a PS five right at some point. I either have to A, opt to buy the game for $60 or cough it up and say, I got to buy, I got to spend $80 now to make sure I have the next gen version when I'm ready to get a PS5. I think that is wrong. Xbox has been a prime example of how this next generation should go in terms of if you're on an Xbox console or if you have multiple Xbox consoles, but if you're on an Xbox one, um, you buy the game. And when you finally get a Series X or Series S, your game that you bought on your Xbox One or on your PC is going to work as it was intended on the next generation console. It will be the proper version. Smart delivery. People thought it was a buzzword. People thought it was a joke. They make memes of it. Of it. They talk shit. It's just cross by. And if it was just cross by, apparently PlayStation is still struggling to do. It's just cross by. This is dumb delivery at its finest. However... The capping that's taking place on Twitter is horrible. You, a lot of people want to come out, these PlayStation guys want to come out, you know, they think they're going to take a stand for this. They want to take a stand against PlayStation for this. This is what you want to take a stand for. No, not PlayStation overcharging you for a game like Returnal, not for um, you know, selling you this lie that Ratchet and Clank is only possible on a PS5, uh, not making you wait half a year to expand no no more than a year to expand your um ssd storage you want to fight them for this you can't fight them for this if playstation allowed this they they allow this this is why ea 2k activision are going to continue also to sell you uh not give you an upgrade path for these games and they're going to sell you these 80 dollar bundles that include both of them or make you buy the next gen version only. PlayStation is doing it and their third party partners are doing it. On Xbox, Xbox sets the example. They do smart delivery. So most games that go on Xbox support smart delivery. That's just it. Ubisoft games support smart delivery. Like most games, and there will be those rare cases like the 2Ks, the EAs and shit like that, that won't support it. But they look, they're look they looked at as an outlier. But most games typically, eh, it is what it is. But um... I just find it funny that, you know, the the, the, the PlayStation guys, they want to look good. We could stand up the PlayStation. You're going to fight them on this. But you guys all got rid of your PS4s. You all got PS5s. So what are you fighting for? What are you mad for? You have no reason to be upset. So, and people want to point at me to be like, oh, I'm hypocritical. I cap and all this stuff. I am as consistent I can be. I feel a, a way sometimes. I feel another way sometimes. But this... My, I don't have an issue with this pricing because at the end of the day, right, my issue, my issue with PlayStation and Horizon Forbidden West is the fact that the game is 70 bucks. Not that the game is not free if you get a PS4 version. I don't have a PS4 no more, so it, it, it the upgrade path for PS4, it doesn't matter to me. It like, just like, I, I, I don't complain about like Battlefield in Madden, right? It was different last year when the console were just coming out because I was like, okay, well, I have if I'm playing like I want my I want to be able to upgrade the current game that I have. But now that I no longer really have an Xbox One, it really doesn't matter to me that a games like some select games aren't supporting smart delivery, like the Call of Duties, like um, the 2K and stuff like that. I have the. I have the Xbox Series X, so I'll just buy the proper version. Now, the only what the thing that's ke actually keeping me from buying those versions, though, because like I said, I'm not sold on Battlefield. I have not purchased Madden yet, and I don't plan on buying Call of Duty. The thing that keeps me from buying those games is the fact that they're seventy bucks. That's my issue. This dumb delivery thing, I've been told you this was uh, this was stupid and that uh, you guys are going to get, you know, you know, you know, kind of taken advantage of. And PlayStation is doing what I said they would do is take advantage of you guys. So you guys can stop the fake cap. 
we know you don't care. You're doing it because you're trying to jump ahead of X Xbox like me from teasing you that PlayStation is ripping you off. You want to jump in front of it. You want to own it. It's like how Xbox felt about Xbox Live uh, Gold and the free-to-play shit. It's like how Xbox, some of us Xbox feel about Halo, but I truly feel the way I feel about Halo. Some don't. Some are just trying to save face and don't want to be called a fanboy or they, they want to give their credits. I personally just am not happy with the rollout with Halo, and I'm just going to honestly forget about the game until the game releases and hopefully surprise me. Horizon Forbidden West comes out February 18th, 2022. If you are on the PlayStation 4, you got a tough decision to make. Do you spend 60 now or 80 now? <laughs> tough choice. But I'll tell you this. Xbox is the best box and I am the best bot. Good night or good morning if you're on the other side of the globe. Smart delivery for the win. Dumb delivery in the wind.